live. This is 8 News Now at 5. Words of well, in the midst of uncertainty among the immigrant community, many are scrambling to gain legal status, but the application pro process can be fairly complicated. 8 News Now reporter Karen Castro is here with more on a tech company that's relocating to Henderson and is promising an easier way of filing that paperwork. Karen? DeniseFileRight.com is an online company that recently moved its headquarters from Silicon Valley, California, here to Henderson. Now, the relocation happened as the website is experiencing high volumes of traffic following the outcome of the presidential election. And they'll be with your information on there as well. The phones are ringing off the hook. Let me just take a look into that application for you. Employees at FileRight.com are busier than ever at their new home in Henderson after Donald Trump was elected president of the United States and quickly removing. Upon taking office, Trump has vowed to immediately deport between two and three million undocumented immigrants, giving priority to those with criminal backgrounds. In fact, there was the presidential election that encouraged Sergio Severo's Italian mother to finally apply for citizenship. The back and forth between the candidates and immigration reform and what's actually going to happen. And it was just this unknown of what's going to happen that made her realize maybe now is the time to do it. Severo works for FileRight.com and advised his then skeptical mother to use the online services. My mother always said that she wanted to retain her Italian citizenship, but deep down it was because she was just scared of the process. A process that can be complicated and even result in applications being denied because of mistakes. A lot of times people go through this process, it's really confusing. CEO and founder Cesar Alessandrini says it took years of work to simplify immigration paperwork, but now the website offers a number of forms for green cards, deferred action and citizenship among others. We take each question, simplify each question, and then customize the instructions for those individuals based on their situation. As for Severo's mother, she became a U.S. citizen just in time to vote this election cycle. For her, it was the biggest sigh of relief. Now, the website is available in both English and Spanish. All applications are reviewed by immigration attorneys before being submitted. Now, these services are not free. Fees range between $100 and $200. Stay. Thanks, Karen.